Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Millennium Dawn as Russia. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So we have managed to navally invade Russia, or naval invade Sweden, I should say. And we are doing fantastic. Let's get our way over here. We're I'm hoping getting Sweden to capitulate this episode. The Northern Front, I think, is in a situation where we just... We want to let the Pink Army down by Stockholm actually mop everything up. These guys will basically just mean, hey, don't... I mean, I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking... I mean, keep putting troops in this direction. You know, we still want to be attacking, of course. I I'm guessing they're just deploying a lot of troops down to the south. Which is understandable. But, you know, it's 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 of little hope. You are going to lose this war. And then battle reports. Okay, looking good. I mean, I don't know how we're going to eventually invade the U.S. That seems like it's going to be a little bit tricky. If you ask me, but... You know, what do I know? Okay, so there's, there, we can see that there's one armor division here. And there, but there's two in Kiel. Okay, so the Germans are more prepared than the Swedish were for a naval invasion. The only other thing I can think of right now is, hey, land a, a force and then build, like, land here and then quickly, or like, land here and quickly build up a naval port. Because I think that would also work for what we're trying to do. Okay, so Stockholm looks like it's about to fall. These Marines probably are not actually uh, contributing too much for this invasion, so I'm not even going to worry about it. So Sweden, you're at 55%. Where's your new capital? Oh, it's over here. Excellent. That is very much within uh, capturing distance. We got two marine divisions here. I mean, if we're going to attack with the naval skies, we want to attack with our naval troops. So, we have one division on this uh, invasion order. Just delete that plan, honestly. The rest of you can hang out here for right now. And then our navy dudes will navally invade from here down to them. I mean, I know there's a troop there, but I'm hoping our marine divisions will not have, you know, major penalties. Again, that is the hope. France is attacking influence in Algeria. I, I, I don't... Don't care, I think. Like, it doesn't matter. Okay, keep influencing you. You're doing a naval invasion of here? Uh, pardon me? I mean, I guess that, I mean, if I was the United States, I guess that's where I would naval invade too. It's, it's the only thing that actually makes sense. But, you know, I don't care about that. Not really. What are we missing? Are we missing main battle tanks? 3,000 days for main battle tanks. So, yes. Put a uh, handful more factories into that. That's looking good to me. Their capital's in a province that I actually control right now, so I'm not too sure what their uh, their plan is going to be for that one. Again, you still have 11 divisions. Sweden. You have 34%. To me, that says, hey, you should capitulate right now, but... What do I know? Again, your capital... I, I own your current capital. So I'm not too sure what your plan here is. I mean, I know some of these cities to the north might matter, but... I mean, the only one that might matter is this one. The rest of them probably do not. If I had to take a guess.
Yeah, we've already trapped these guys, which is beautiful. I mean, I'm not going to even do anything with them yet until we've actually capitulated uh, Sweden. And then we can counterattack. Try to push them in. Yeah, you guys go here, push that direction. The South has fallen. Sweden is at 23%, so... Any big city, it looks like, should be enough for the capitulation. Not any city, I think, but just any big one. Okay, hold off a little bit for now. Okay, well, you're like some sort of special forces, I believe. Norway's declared war in Norway. Okay. Is it the same situation where, yeah, I mean, they're both essentially the same. Would you like to join my faction? I mean, you're very nationalist. Member to Pakistan, assume faction leadership. Sure. Yeah, apparently I can't get any of these guys involved. That's uh, disappointing, to say the least. Um, but you're, not, you're still not going to declare war on anybody, are you? So it still doesn't really matter who's in charge there. Okay, we got to see uh, some fighters going around. I think all the Marine Divisions are going to be ready to go for a naval invasion of Germany. So. You guys. All of you here ready to go, except of course... You know, this one Infantry Division. If I delete you... This unit is encircled. Is it though? Is it? Like, are you in my faction? You are in my faction. Like, I don't know if I would consider that in circles, to be completely honest, but, you know. I don't make the rules, I guess. I mean, I, I don't really. Yeah, they're trying to break their way out. It's not going to work out for them, so... That's fine. We're going to counter here. Just so the Germans will be even more stuck than they already are. Yeah, there we go. Sweden has capitulated. Fantastic news. Fight all of, I guess, Pakistan's troops who decide, who thought that they could dare defy us. And that seems like everybody here, so... All of you guys are going to be here. When is your naval vision going to be ready? It's going to be ready another six days. Apparently, we don't have naval superiority here right now. We don't have superiority with the straits. Okay. Okay. Do it like this. The situation here should resolve itself. You know, just more German troops dying is good. Pakistan, like, I didn't think we needed to be enemies in this situation. I really thought, like, we could have been friends. Oh, yeah, our assigned divisions. Excellent. Um, you're, like, our new unit type. So, right now, I'm just going to have you here. Because I don't know what to really, where to really put you. You can be the Black Army. At least for right now. I'm sure at some point you'll be useful. But today is not that day. You know, since we take Germany, is there a reason not to just declare war on all of NATO? Because, like, after Germany falls, Poland's, like, the only major threat in the faction, which is, I mean, Greece actually has the most troops. If that tells you anything. Okay, you know what? You go as soon as you're ready. And then Blue Army, you are going to also have a fallback line down here. So we can send troops down to Germany when we need to. Because we're going to need to counter... We could probably push into France pretty easily. France is uh, quick and nice to deal with. China still has a million difficulties with Japan. I have no idea how they're having such problems. Yes, yeah, so the United States have landed divisions in Siberia. So... That, that, that's really... Until they get to, like, the Urals, I literally could not care less about where the Americans are. And I'm sure China would deal with that situation before we have to worry about it, so... 
Vietnam's declared war on Malaysia. Vietnam is not aligned. Malaysia is nationalist. You'd be rather part of India. You would rather be part of Peninsula Shield. So, Malaysia joined Peninsula Shield. Are you going to join the Indian faction? Actually, that's actually good you joined uh, Peninsula Shield. Because it means well, uh, Saudi Arabia and Pakistan will not be sending volunteers to anybody. Because if I can just take a quick gander. You're sending volunteers to the United States. You're sending volunteers to Germany and... I mean, that's about it, but still, it means there's going to be less people that we have to deal with. Also, apparently the Germans just left Rostock at some point, and I just have not been paying attention. Like, how many troops does Germany have right now? They have nine divisions. They're getting volunteers from a handful of countries, but one of those is going to go away. I mean, this is looking pretty nice for us. And I think as soon as Germany capitulates, we annex Germany. We can use Germany as just a jumping off point, uh, essentially, for... Okay, get all you guys here. Deploy ASAP. Okay, Marine Divisions. One, two, three, four. With one of you staying back in the, in the, uh, in the port. Again, I'm just thinking about how much better this is going than the entirety of... Yeah, don't care about this. Just how much better this is going than the entirety of the British campaign. Yeah, Germany still has two divisions, I think. Okay, they have at least one division over here. That guy's dead, so they might have like seven divisions now. Seven, one of them's in, uh, Russia. The North Koreans are showing up. Sure, Norway, we can have an accept. We can, uh, do that. I think that should be fine. Please stop attacking. I mean, he's not stopping. I, I can I can tell you that. He's not stopping. Okay, but again, this is, again, this is half the German army right here. Yeah, it looks like this Norway should win. Vietnam, I don't think, joined a faction. They wouldn't even, even if they're not aligned. Even if Germany, or even if um Vietnam was... Why are you surrendering from here? Oh, because the, the Germans are trying to push their way through. I mean, we're in a funny situation where Germany has, like, so few troops. When do you actually arrive? You'll arrive in one hour. Germany has so few troops that we can actually just march into the capital because they cannot... They literally cannot guard all their provinces. So... It makes things relatively easy for us to deal with. Okay, they have four divisions now. I mean, they're moving troops around. Purple, your job basically is, hey, push your way to here. There's Berlin. Like, it'd be nice to take you over. Like, what about you? Like, Ukraine? I don't know about Ukraine. I think we need maybe one more army on Ukraine to just uh, solidify our control over it. And is China sending troops to deal with, uh... No, not quite yet, but again... It is what it is. China's having just a huge di issue just fighting... Japan. But they are going to take over, uh, Taipei now. Well, not now, but, you know, in probably in a few days. I literally actually... I don't want you attacking. I want you actually just sitting back. Because, again, they literally don't have enough men to, um, stop us. You know, they literally can't, they can't stop all of us. It's just not even possible. And that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, so, 
China's actually losing men. They have less men now than they had at the start. Which to me just says, um... Yeah, you just go take one tank division, take all these cities. To me, it basically just says the AI has no idea what the hell it's actually doing. Blue army? You're also going to play over here now. Okay, they're trying to push into this tank. I mean, they're doing a fine job, but again, like, they can't... They can't stop all of us. We have, two, we have about 300 points. We're almost at 79. We're at 69 now. Haha, <laughs> nice. Basically take over every major German city. They have five divisions here right now. Did they... Yeah, so they did... No, they have one guy here. So that's six divisions. So there's one more German troop somewhere that I just don't know about. Unfortunately, it's, it's whereabouts may never be found. Yes, yeah, so that tank is fine. I'm not too worried about it. Republic of China's capitulated. So goodbye, Taiwan. So yeah, these guys are strategically redeploying. I guess I don't know where they're strategically redeploying to. Apparently that this is actually working fine, just a little bit bugged in the UI. Okay, so we took Berlin. We're about to take this city. I mean I'll actually still link this all up. It just it's just looking a little bit like a mess right now, but eh, don't worry about it. It'll all uh, resolve itself in the end. So let's go for the Russian army, because of course, you know, our ground forces are generally, I would say, the most important. Trade a little bit less with Congo. How, what are we building right now? We're building more factories. Slowly but surely, we're building more factories. Yeah, you can go here. Marine Division, go to that province. Please get here so you can actually have some more supplies. I've been actually, you're fine on supplies right now. Yeah, you go to Bremen. You go up this way. Your job is still push your way to here. Every single major city here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, Aachen, Bonn. I don't know how long it's going to take for you to get there. It's going to take you... It's not going to take you one day to get everywhere, is it? Four elections just happened. No, okay, it's, not, it's just not going to tell me. That's fine. I mean, I kind of saw this outcome, but... Yeah, we'll try to surround this one tank division, but Germany... Germany might... I was going to say Germany might like capitulate this episode. I don't think it's actually going to. Unfortunately. Yeah, Japan is... I mean, Japan's still having issues. And I don't know what's stopping some of these guys from joining factions. Like, they just easily could, but they decide not to. You go to Kessel. You go to Gottenheim. You guys can probably all push into this city. And I'll have one guy on Polish, the Poland's border. Eh, do we want one guy on Poland's border? I'm not too sure. We'll think about that as soon as we actually capitulate to Germany. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thank you for watching my anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. Now, you can always thumb down. Want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.